What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Italian States and this one, this fight right here, this is the fight we've been building up to for an awful long time. This is the fight where we uh, draw in uh, two supporting Italian armies and we fight against five Ottoman stacks. Well, nearly five complete stacks, but lots of troops. Um, lots of troops. So let's uh, pick some... Do a bit of jigging about here to make sure that we get the best mixture of units in support. For that army, and then the next army. Because I foresee a need to, uh, well, there is a significant chance that one army will not be able to deliver enough firepower to make all of these armies rout. Once we start hitting the Royal Constantinople Infantry Guards, then we know we're towards the end. But, let's fight. So, our howitzers are going to be working overtime. I anticipate our first army may eventually get destroyed. We may start to bring in some forces from the second army. Um, but it very much depends. It depends on uh, how things go. How much of a devastating blow we can make within the first attack. Because they do have lots and lots of cavalry coming in. And it's cavalry I find that can be the most... It can be the, the unit that wears you down the most over time. Infantry troops. The infantry take a long time to get into position. And you can artillery the, the bejesus out of them. It's the cavalry that come in and smash into your line infantry. They cause so much... Ooh, right, okay. Ooh. Okay, so... Put one set of guns looking that way. Let's collect... Some of our more weakened units. Let's set this other battery here. So I want to have quite strong flanks. Because I don't know where the enemy are going to come in for reinforcements. Or come in as reinforcements. I've got a good amount of cavalry so I need to make sure I use them. So let's deploy. Too bad lots of our artillery or how it's a contingent is depleted. So their bombardment mortars are going to be the focus of our They're going to be the focus of our main artillery. I'm going to use the fact that we've caused some of these units to rout immediately to uh, wait and see where their reinforcements come in because I want to push the right flank and kind of take this high ground here. But I don't want to do it if they're going to start coming in from all over the place. So let's start picking off some of these units here. Actually, you're a good one to hit the archers with. But yeah, let's see where the enemy come in from. Or not. Let's just... Uh, Let's have some fun. Let my howitzers continue to open up. Well, let my um, artillery continue to open up. Sadly, you are still engaging not the best unit. I mean, they because they have attacked me. 
That's the thing to make clear in this. I've not attacked them. Let's get a howitzers to start hitting the infantry, largely the infantry as they are now getting within range. So here's an enemy cavalry unit. Delhi horsemen, so we want our regiment of horse up front because they will blast them. You guys now fire shrapnel shot. You guys cease fire. So these guns start blasting with uh, blast that horseman unit with shrapnel shot this cavalry battle should go our way fairly conclusively this is a Cassian armoured cavalry so they are something to be aware of but it looks like they're going to elect to uh, charge along the ranks of my men Bring a regiment of horse in to smash those Sekban Janissaries. You men fire at will. Because you can open up onto these Armenian archers. This gun team over here switched canister shot because it always seems like canister shots are more, the more productive. Um, artillery type, shot type. These guys are going to limber up because I want to move them up to this high ground on the right. So you should be pouring in some lovely fire into these Armenian archers. The household cavalry up here are doing a real number on these Delhi horsemen. Not looking to destroy any of their armies in, the f in any of their units. I just want them to go away. Good. Let's get you guys up towards the hill. The Nizam infantry are gone, now it's time to hit the General's bodyguard. Actually, I might get my regiment of horse out of there to charge down Janissary riflemen. This left flank can advance. Because the household cavalry are more than enough to beat the General's bodyguard. Janissary Musketeers are in the mix now. My gunners, once they've abandoned their guns, I need to make sure they do run away. Although well, it appears they don't want to. So let's bring my heavy cavalry in. Good. My gunners run away. Fundamentally, the bulk of my strength isn't in my uh, artillery on the field. My f the bulk of it is... Okay, make sure... Okay, they're all coming in over in the distance. So bring this cavalry in to hit this unit of Israeli. That unit of household cavalry and set the general's bodyguard. Like I said, you guys are going to smash into the back of this Israeli unit. You men cease fire. You men push up to engage that unit of Nizam. There we go, we've killed another enemy general. So 
shots. Then my gun crews get back up here to engage. This regiment of horse can fall back because they are near as damn it depleted. I'll stop quick climbing my own guys. Charge the general's bodyguard into the back of the Israeli just to try and make sure they do rout. There we go. Pretty happy with my right flank. You guys fire square or form square. Because the Mamelukes look like they're coming in to try counter charge me. So my right flank might be a bit far up. So let's get my howitzers engaging these targets that are now entering the battlefield. This Mameluke unit is interested in my heavy cavalry. But they've broken. I'm sure all of you guys are on fire at will. Although you guys look like you're actually bugged. So fall back. This general can fall back so I'm not interested. That entire wing forms square. You guys charge down into the Mamelukes where is the rest of this wing is going to form a new line. Let's keep the cavalry here ready to advance. Although it looks like all their cavalry has pretty much been neutered. Okay, these two units can form the line regularly. We have a heavy cavalry unit on the right flank pushing up. So these gunners engage the mountain Nizam at our range. These troops are going to pour devastating fire into those archers. They aren't going to last very long. You start opening up on that unit of cavalry. Okay, they're shattered, so you guys fall, fall back. Let's push this flank up a little bit. They can open up onto the Azar, so this regiment of horse can go hit that unit of armoured cavalry. Good quick climb hit has knocked them out, knocked them down a peg quite aggressively. You men form line once more. We have sharpshooters coming in, they're going to take position on this right flank. These Mamelukes are advancing into the Maelstrom. That's brave of them. It's 
so they're probably going to be they're probably going to break but they're going to come back fairly resolutely a lot of cavalry pushing this flank so let's get my heavies also over here So getting my howitzers to focus on the infantry that's coming in. No, I kept accidentally picking up the uh, cavalry. Counter charge my heavies into the combat. You guys also form squares because it looks like they are coming for this flank. charge my cavalry in as well. Let's make sure the squares remain. It's my heavy cavalry that's going to be the winner here. So I do want cavalry to be in reserve. New men continue to engage enemy cavalry at long range. It's got another unit of Delhi horsemen coming in. Let's pick new quick climb targets. Firing in a complete 180 degree manner I think it's oh, the Tartar uh, they are charging so this regiment of horse can strike them those men are routing through our lines which is a bit not entirely awesome So I don't want to advance up too far because I'm I don't want to leave my reinforcement zone. My reinforcements are coming in from a reasonable position here. And I'm not too far away from the edge of the edge of a map, so okay, they're still coming in. So like this unit of 95 men, let's get them out of here. Hey, Royal Constantinople Infantry Guards, are we towards the end? I don't think so. My sharpshooter is going to deploy stakes because I don't actually have many infantry units that can do that. These bashy bazooks look like they might uh, attempt to charge me sharpshooters. Okay, my artillery back here. You guys engage their organ guns. You guys don't want to deploy stakes, that's fine by me. See, look at that. So their cavalry route through our lines and then attack our artillery. So I might push up this left flank to help provide as much support as possible. My general has passed from his emergency attack against the uh, cavalry attacking our general. But we are going to bring in some extra reinforcements. 
Yep, these men are being pushed back by our gallant troops. This regiment of horse is going to push up aggressively with this household cavalry unit. We do have an Azar unit up on this hill. It'd be, it would be cool to take this, this high ground, actually, but I've not got any... Don't have any any uh, artillery to place up there. Hussars are coming in. That's an interesting choice. So they're pushing the right flank. But my sharpshooters are absolutely pouring it on them. As is my infantry. I'm showing no biases here. You guys, I don't want you guys firing for now. One of our howitzers will try and focus, try hit that Janissary unit, even though you're out of range. Good. Our artillery's done some excellent work against the enemy to the rear. Let's try hit that howitz unit because they're trying to fire quick climb at us. Good hit on the Janissaries there. Might actually limber these howitzers up and advance them closer to the front line. A lot of my regiment of horse are dying there from those volleys. Let's get closer. Hopefully our gunners will rout fairly soon. We can get some more reinforcements in. To be honest, this general's bodyguard may as well peace out as well, because we don't have a general. They're not actually providing as much help as they possibly could. These men that are currently fire well off are going to be fire well on. Pour some volleys into the Delhi horsemen. Push you men in. Let's run. This cavalry into the Delhi horsemen. Let's also advance up our overall line. Keep our artillery focused on the long range fight. Very much that how it's a unit. You guys need to halt and unlimber and get opening up <laughs> sooner rather than later. You guys need to knock out that daddy horseman pretty quick as well. Another artillery unit. We're going to come up on top of this hill. Okay. Bad, bad, bad times. Yeah, there's a bad managed to avoid that combat there. You guys hop into square, these Tartar are gonna retreat. Or oh, these oh, I don't want to charge Hussars into Sipahi, get this household cavalry over there, pretty ricky tick. That gun team might actually not be very welcome. Danger close quick climb.
I think we got too far ahead of ourselves there on that flank. These marines actually going to get involved in that fight there. You guys, these grenadiers get involved on the cavalry fight on the flank. You men push up. Smash the Sipahi. Yeah, hussars are lost. So the artillery. Bit of a waste of time bringing it in, really. Let's bring this cavalry up over as well. Probably got enough here to kill this general's bodyguard unit. These skirmishers can try and hot foot it over here. Pretty good quick climb hit there as well. This infantry can try and get over here to support the left flank. There you go, we're slowly squeezing them out. Get my skirmishes inside the armory. If we can win. I mean Sipahi are good. But they're Lancer Cavalry, and they are now decidedly not Lancing. You guys get involved, charge the Nizam on the flank, get this heavy cavalry over here pronto. Anchor the corner of my line up against those buildings. Okay, even more important than ever, we've now got howitzers engaging our troops. It looks like that might actually be the ed end of their army. We've got some good hits against their infantry here. Bashi Bazooks. Oh god! Bad. Okay, you guys should hopefully knock out the Nizam. Good. These marines hold strong. Let's grant a guard unit fall out. This cavalry unit needs to go on a cleanup mission on some of these artillery pieces. You, my gunner, are going to go hit the 9th the ninth regiment. There we go. So that's a fresh, well, a relatively fresh um, infantry unit joining the fray. Some good shots against the ninth from that gun team. Nope, they're not over. It's not over yet. Riskers of souls, they're pretty bad. Get these heavy cavalry fighting or knocking out the Azars. Because quick climb is one thing I definitely do not want to see. Good. Those units can rout these troops. Push up to a new front line. It's weak, you know, Grand Air Guards. Push over here. That's actually a bad idea. I think it probably would have been better off staying where I was. Because otherwise I'm putting myself in the dangerous position near their artillery. 
which, yeah, my heavy cavalry got chased off. Okay, it's just regular old people wandering around with howitzers that are causing the problems now. You men form line here. Sharpshooters also form line. You men charge into the Armenian archers. You've got some garrison guards coming up. So let's give the sharpshooters a bit of cover in the town. So these men charge the archers, although I doubt they'll make them rout, but I would like them to do some good damage. Okay, run away, because everyone's coming after you. take advantage of this relative lull in the action to move my artillery around. Oh no, my, these grenadier guards run away! Good. So just keep creeping them forwards. Keep creeping my howitzers up. To do some good stuff. Some of you guys. You men are going to charge forward to try and clear the way. Even though they're about to uh, kill some of your own men. Let's get these guys also in. And them they've all run out of ammunition so they are going to sacrifice themselves to the greater Italian Empire just get involved in fights just get involved throw them forward do damage, especially to tie up those riskers of souls. Let's bring my heavy cavalry back into the back into the fray. Royal Janissary Infantry Guards. Smash those Azar. Those garrison guards need to form part of our line because, well, yeah, as we know, lots of these guys are actually not. Uh, we don't have ammunition, so they can't fire. Get these engineers down here. Yep, so here's just about right. Try to get this cavalry out of here because I still have some heavy heavy cavalry here. My artillery, folks fire, camel nomads. I mean lots of these guys are switched to fire at will off. Get that heavy cavalry unit in to smash the Mamelukes. guard mode on but make sure you're picking up that cavalry unit there first fight the muslim they aren't going to be useless charging this infantry forward like this it's a miss with their Artillery fire there. Try to run straight through and hit their 24 pounders. No, rifleman, get back.
Charge straight through. Camel Nomads are routing. We've got more Nizam. Charge the Howitzer. Uh, you guys, if you get into position, you could actually fire on the 32nd. Okay, these units here have actually done... Okay, no, you don't. Don't run that way. Get at least behind my lines before you route. So you guys are actually... I pushed you guys forwards and you paid off. So, uh... Yeah, you did... You did good. I attempted to waste your lives. Yeah, we didn't unfortunately get to their... Artillery, but I've got... Okay, this flank here is actually going to go back like so. Once you're behind the lines, I mean, you've got ammunition, but can't really use it. <laughs> Another howitzer, that could be useful. Let's trundle you up. You guys shrapnel shot the Nizam unit right here. They're still... Oh, they're still getting me. Okay, I need to focus on bombarding them. There we go, my line infantry is pouring fire in once more. Okay, bring my cavalry to bear because they have Janissary riflemen causing problems. I'm going to actually get these skirmishers out of their little house because I actually need them to do, to do some work. You guys charge the heavy cavalry. Oh, you guys charge the riflemen, I mean. more rifles behind them. Charge the marines forward to hit. The Muslim, you guys hold your fire against such a target. Now hit the rifles behind them. You guys fall back. I might want to slowly trundle back to where I used to be. Because their artillery is now starting to do actual damage. Okay, let's bring you guys back. Yeah, my marines, if they try and fall back, they'll fall back the wrong way. So fall back to my artillery line. Get my sharpshooters up on the hill behind my line. There's yeah, somewhere I can use this. terrain to my advantage. You know, I've got riflemen. I've got sharpshooters in my front line right here. Okay, those are, those are my cavalry. You focus... Change your focus onto that unit of sec band right there. Get the infantry uh, 
double timing it up to the front. You might be able to make that Nizam unit break. Okay, let's get this infantry over here. You hit the rifles. Good stuff. You guys continue to bombard the center. Some engineers just run them up. No, I meant you to charge those guys, not just stand nearby. Okay, you guys need to unlimber and begin opening up. You guys don't want to charge that Roferman unit? Okay, don't worry about it. Okay, lots of the enemy units are now coming close. Let's get back to engaging at range. You guys focus on the right flank. This is how its unit switch to quick climb and begin hitting the first auto coming up from behind the lines. I mean, this would be a good artillery position for you guys, especially with shrapnel shot. This howitz unit is getting hit by near misses and is was actually under fire from counter battery fire. Okay, you guys might take the place of the sharpshooters in the line. You guys could maybe fall back and fire over their heads. You guys blast the second daughter on that side of the slope. Some good hits. Nope, don't want any more howitzers. Three units of howitzers are just fine. People are generally doing okay on ammunition. You guys might experience some issues, but we're still getting some lovely, lovely volley fire off. we're getting some infantry support on the left so let's bring this regiment of horse down quick we don't want that those howitzers that are coming back nor no we don't want that foot artillery no siri let's bring these cavalry in hard and fast Put these men over here, replace again these sharpshooters that are in the line. This cavalry can help sweep away Ooh, Royal Janissary Infantry Guard. They might be near the end. We have to be careful on this flank. Because they've got spikes. So we need to run around them and make sure we get the charge in the way we want to. Good stuff. These men form a line up at our former position. 
you guys switch to round shot, begin engaging their artillery at long range. You guys get on top of this hill and also begin firing. Our Howard's team's lost all of their guns so they can retreat. You men are in good shape. Nope, there's some more Nizam, mounted Nizam coming in. Whoa, those guys are getting hit by... Quick climb hard. No, with all that cavalry running about, I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to lose good infantrymen, but I don't want to lose good cavalry either. There we go, you men are limber. Switch to shrapnel. No, actually, no, no, no. You guys keep aiming at the artillery long distance because you're exceptional artillery for the counter battery roll. Mountain Nizam are coming in. You men up here can fire shrapnel onto the battlefield. We're generally okay from a ammunition perspective. Blowing some holes into the into this Janissary Infantry Guard unit. Okay, here come the Mountain Nizam, ho hoping to probably try and smash through our line. Okay, let's bring up this infantry unit on the flank. This artillery unit engage the Nizam. That seems to be quite. That seems to be just the motivation they were after. Pity these guys can't get more involved, but I don't want to push up. Okay, I can get these 24 pounders to engage the howitzer. Yep, it's Mountain Nizam charging along our lines. They're not going to find a gap. Let's keep our artillery going, hitting these guys at the back. Let's not go mad. Any skirmish unit can fall back because they run out of ammunition. No, those. Those are how it says, even though they're just a guy reloading muskets. Very well. If that's how you want to play it. Well, I think that's pretty much it. So we are going to want to... Uh, continue the, well, begin the advance, I suppose, now. Yeah, the quick climb's coming in, but not a lot we can really do about that, apart from never attack, which clearly isn't an option. Both my howitzers switched, howitzers switched to round shot, that's still not enough. You guys switch to round shot and engage the horsemen at range. They're now running, so they could well be charging at us. But we do need to push up our front.
Let's get both of our howitzers to engage the horsemen, all of our artillery to engage the horsemen. Even though they do have these scallywags here, they will be engaged. See how they're still firing howitzer shots, but it's just them. With reasonable results. See, they aren't charging, but they're probably... Okay, they might... I was curious to see if they would route before the uh, my line got there, but there we go. That mighty enemy force. It says Pyrrhic victory, but uh, I don't think it was. I think it's been a lot better for us. I mean, look, we lost 3,000 men, sure, but they lost 10,000. We're now on equal terms. We killed 8,000 men. So these marines killed 600. These marines killed 500. 24 pounder heavy horse guard artillery, 475 kills. Loads of my troops will have loads of experience. Um, but they are pretty knackered as a result. <laughs> Yes, they are now no longer in the overwhelming numbers they previously were. They still have lots of individual units on the field, granted, but they aren't as much of a risk. They managed to run past my army there because they have no movement points left. Yep, they're going to try one more turn of stealing my technology before they realise, actually, there's no scholars here, it's all full of builders knocking it down. That makes no sense. Let's. This is their main. Th Ooh. Yeah, let's withstand this last push from the uh, the Native American factions. <laughs> um, because we've spent the last 52 minutes fighting, we may as well um, fight another action. Especially as it's, as it's a defensive one against a fairly beaten army. But because it's a native, it's a Native American faction. You don't want to take it for granted that they're. Uh, that they're depleted, especially when lots of my armies here, units here, are actually pretty poor quality. So the savings the safest thing to do is just to form a couple of wings. I'm entirely bothered about how efficiently they're spread out. Sorry, General. You're going to have to do some scouting. Or maybe you won't have to do any. I was curious about the um, hidden unit contingents. Well, I mean, we've still got them because there's still lots of bowmen that are hidden. But by the looks of it, maybe if I had a volley at my general's bodyguard. <laughs> I think it's the mounted tribal gunners. Okay, they're all showing themselves now. Let's make sure our howitzers are hitting. The more dangerous men. And let's make sure our flank here is moving up to provide some level of support to the left because it looks like the left is going to be where they're going to be focusing. But yes we really don't want to take too many risks with this army because we need to get it Back up and back up and ready to fight to deploy it to mainland America. So there is a limit as to uh, how little we can do. The artillery is still engaging those units, even though they are hidden. It's rather nice.
But yes, I am forcing them to come at me. This poor native bowman faction, they're not going to stand for too long. There they go. There's not even of Native American bowmen on the flank, but again, they're going to meet the same sticky end, to quote Lucius Malfoy. There's a bit of a different meaning, actually, when you think about it. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, I mean, this is what we expected. Their army wasn't ever going to make it to our lines in any great strength. Or in any great, um, with any sort of great morale state either. Yeah, focusing on their chief's bodyguard, but we missed him with our, we missed him with our canister shot. But the warrior society doesn't look too healthy. Yeah, I'm going to speed this up. <laughs> They might be walking towards my general, but I've uh, got a couple of guys in the way. Yeah. To be expected. But yeah, this army couldn't afford to be... Oh, I didn't use a single man. There we go. The region is ours. But yeah, we do need them to help engaging the Mughal Empire, because they are... They are on the... <laughs> they are in the... Uh, on the continent in in force. See, they are pulling back from the north, where we sent two armies to chase them out. So I'm going to continue pushing them north. They're still raiding around Montreal, but that's part of the reason why we are expanding our production in Quebec. The Hurons soon will realise that we come to declare war on them as well. But let's get I'm gonna spend a bit spend a bit of time doing some investing and redeploying and such like. Because we haven't had we haven't been able to do any of that this turn. But ignore the raids. So any infantry units that get produced, they're gonna get shuttled back to Quebec. Because we are recruiting another army. Three more turns till we get next level. Next level. Um, well, till we get fortifications. Let's take. To be honest, we only really need to send one ship. One ship down here to block this crossing. So we're not worried about raids. These two units are going to continue to push around the north. So this is a Quebec region. I'm going to put a craft workshop and repair this. They might be thinking, haha, they're leaving their city unprotected. But we aren't. I need my spy. To be honest, let's send our spy all the way down to the Carolinas because we've got good coverage along most of their coastline. It would probably be a smart thing to do to begin using this port we've captured as a quite important naval staging post. Even start dropping out some fourth rates to begin spreading to pretty much try and blockade their entire coastline. So then, does that mean this fleet is full? Well, near as damn it. Let's raid Grand Bahama. You men down here can continue to grow your navy. You're still replenishing. Construction completed. Okay, we can move our army under Balthazare up to the border. That moose factory. I want to build some militia in the event these guys come 
sniffing around. Obviously, we do have an army off the coast waiting at York Factory. Okay. I'm not entirely sure why I sent you guys, just you guys. Let's raid the pirates and do a bit of offensive action. We're not looking to engage any fleets. We're looking to raid and cause upset. In fact, if I sit here, it'll take them more than one turn to get out here to kick me out. Okay, so... I mean, you can move forward to punt this guy away from this side of the river. And then take position there. So you're going to take this Cairo Infantry Guard unit and I'm going to steal plenty of cavalry. Steal the Colonial Infantry. I mean, you guys are pushing on Baghdad and you can do it, so I don't see why not. Obviously, lots of these armies are pretty badly mauled, so now's the time to push up this army as it's in pretty good shape. So fortunately, you guys haven't lost too much. Orlando Freeze, you need maybe one heavy cavalry unit. There we go. But we're in a good position, I think. I might remove you in this gap because you can provide support to Mr. Venturi. Enrico Castro is... Let's also move him up to try and provide support. Ernesto Defendi, like I said, you're continuing on to Yerevan. You men are going to push up the west side of Georgia. We have some rebels, but they didn't bank on the entire Italian army to come storming down this part of the world. Besides, they'll come round. So you're going to be, you're going to stay in position. Angelo, you're going to push down to the right, as is Simon, Simone. You, you are also going to push. No, 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 no. Okay, you can't get past that guy. Okay. Vito, let's also get him down here. He's been joined up at Chakask. Bartolomeo Spinelli. Let's get you guys embarked to bring the war to the Americas. So I think you, like other ships, will not make it in one hop. So let's keep using Norway as our as our um, drop-off point. My phone's buzzing around. So let's get them over to the Americas. These guys are still uh, replenishing after their fight against Denmark. Keep upgrading them. Heroic death, Ludovico Scapoli. Poor Ludovico. And then you... You need a cavalry unit. A heavy cavalry unit. So let's get... Just box standard heavy cavalry. Apart from that, I could, I think, I'm with, I'm, I've got a shot about of, ta of attacking Ankara and drawing in a couple of these armies. But then I'm also, we also have a shot in Baghdad and I've got lots, lots of stuff to do against Britain. To be honest, we've got a, a busy few parts, I think. 
Let's just knock down this gunsmith, upgrade the fur exchange, upgrade the cobbled roads, get these guys replenishing. Good. Make sure everyone's everyone is building up appropriately. I'm gonna wait till these guys are on the border before attacking the Hurons. So I can at least attack York Factory here pretty or put lay siege to them pretty quick. So I'm gonna keep my priest here. Actually, no, I'm not. Get my Catholic missionary over the border. Start converting Ardabil. Okay, so I think the smart thing to do is to take Peppino Volta. No, not Peppino. Michele Contarini. Swing west a bit, then northeast. And attack Cairo. But, looking at the timer... Not Cairo, Ankara, sorry. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to win the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for, finally, the Assault of Ankara. Cheers, everyone.